Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Amy Stoddart here and we are continuing with our six weeks to summer countdown. I think we're in week three. Week three, we're rocking it. All right, I have another great building block is what I like to call them for your kitchen. And this is my homemade barbecue sauce. I know you can buy barbecue sauces everywhere, but when it comes to summer, and like essentials for your kitchen, a homemade barbecue sauce is so beautiful. I mean, it's just such a great way to avoid those all those additives and high fructose corn syrup. And there is a lot of stuff in the store-bought barbecue sauces, so I encourage you to read the labels. It's also great if people have gluten allergies because you can really control what goes into, or other allergies, you can control what goes into your barbecue sauce. So. This is one that my kids love. It goes with like everything and it's just fantastic to have on hand. It'll last for a month in the fridge, maybe even more. So let's dive right into it. Okay, really easy. I like to make my barbecue sauces because I always have these ingredients on hand anyhow. And so it's really easy for me to throw together. I start with a can of crushed tomatoes, tin can, your preference, about 24 to 28 ounces. Get that right in there. Next, I'm going to do a little bit of molasses. So that's going to add a little bit of sweetness, but a little bit of bitterness. I also loved putting this in here when my kids were little because uh, it added iron. So it was fantastic. A little bit of molasses in there. Ooh, it's so sticky, sticky good. Okay. It is strong, so start with a little. Got a tablespoon in there. All right, two tablespoons of Worcester sauce. Worcester, Worcestershire, I don't know, <laughs> however you like to call it, but two tablespoons. And you can always get a vegan and gluten-free version in health food stores. So I use the original for this one. Apple cider vinegar. You know, we're going a little bit of sweet, a little bit of sour, balancing the flavors. Apple cider vinegar, amazing addition. Okay, so I've got about a quarter cup. Very simple. Next, I'm gonna add, oh, that's my secret ingredient. I'll get to that in a second. Okay, I love to add the zest and the juice of a whole orange, right? If you don't have a whole orange on hand, just use some orange juice. You can freeze it in ice cubes for just such occasions. Okay, let's get the juice and zest of a whole orange. And now I'm gonna add a little bit more sweetness. The molasses is like a very sort of bittery sweet, so I want to balance that with some nice honey. So I've got a quarter cup of honey. That gets right in there. And if you're making this for kids that are under one, because this was a staple in my house when my kids were babies, I would substitute with either um, maple syrup is what I would use because little, little ones under one, not supposed to have honey. Okay, maple syrup. And we always have that king around Canada. All right, garlic. One garlic clove. And go right in. Not too much garlic. I don't want it to be overpowering, but it is nice to have a little hint of that in there. Get that in there. And ginger. Ginger goes really nice with the orange. You could also substitute the orange for some pineapple. Uh, okay, I have a little knob of ginger. I'm just going to grate in about maybe... Two teaspoons, you could go up to a tablespoon, but I don't want it to be too ginger forward. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit, just that hint, it works really nicely with all the other flavors. And, okay, I always put a little pinch of turmeric in here. Again, I'm using this on grilling, turmeric's a great anti-carcinogen, so I love to just get it in everything. It's just so good for us in so many ways. Okay, a little bit of turmeric, quarter teaspoon, Half teaspoon. We don't want it to taste too murky. A hint that nobody knows. That je ne sais quoi. This is what I do love though. A little bit of liquid smoke. Not necessary, but I do put a little bit in mine. I have one teaspoon. Goes a long way. You can up it to two, two teaspoons if you really like that flavor. Again, your choice. You could totally open it too. Okay, all you're going to do is give this a stir and heat it up and just let it simmer down so it's that nice, thick barbecue sauce consistency. Watch the bottom, you don't want it to burn. Again, this is another time where you just get this on the stove, just like a roasted garlic, and you're not gonna leave, you're not gonna go away, you're just gonna prep a couple other things, maybe try a few more of my recipes, and you're good to go. Transfer it to a mason jar, and that's it. It's easy, and it's gorgeous, and it lasts pretty much all summer, and you can use it on everything. I'm going to share some really easy ways to use it this week, next week, and in the weeks to come. All right, that's it. Homemade barbecue sauce, definitely a great addition to any summer kitchen. 
have fun with it. And if you want my recipes and you've been following along, press the link below and you can get them emailed to you in printable form. All right, take care, have a great one, bye.